Hi guys, I know I'm a little, I'm like what, two minutes, four minutes late, but uh, it's been a long day. Um, it's a lot to discuss today. I, I don't, you know, I kind of don't know where to start. I had to pull out mother laptop, you know what I'm saying, to, 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 to reference some things. Um, it's a lot going on, um, in the world of politics. Today was supposed to be just us talking about us, and now us is like the third thing that I, 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 uh, that I want to talk about, um, in regards to this. Um, I'm going to wait for everybody to get in. How's everybody doing, Clarissa? Catalina Bird is here. Maybe a future mayor of Baltimore City. We'll see. Uh, Drea Marie, what's going on, my dear? Natisha, Natasha, how you doing, my dear? Sandra's here. Sandra always here. Denise, what's going on, Denise? Kentucky, oh, no, that's right, girl. Come on, there, boss. Uh, Jonathan, Celeste, Catonsville, you right up the street. We got to unpack this, sis. So y'all following in pretty fast. Hey, Darlene, what's going on, honey? Hey, Miss Brown. Shout out Naomi Brown. I love her. One of my faves. Um, Teresa, what's going on? So it's been a busy weekend over here in Secretary of Shade Land. I shot my video for Beautiful He Say, She Say. Um, you guys have been seeing that on social medias. But, bitch. Okay, so... We had the Mueller report. That, that, well, the Mueller cliff notes, bitch. Because that wasn't a goddamn report. That was the cliff notes, bitch. Okay? We got the Mueller cliff notes. Then, the, out of nowhere, Michael Avenatti as, like, okay, let's start with the easy shit first. So, first off, Michael Avenatti. So, for those of us, we know, we read, like, two chapters out of Stormy Daniels' book. So, Michael Avenatti... Is Stormy Daniels' former lawyer? He fired he she fired his dumb ass for not being honest with her. One thing I ain't never took Stormy as is a liar. Um, you know she may keep shit quiet, but I don't got the bitch lying. Um, so she fired him, stating that he wasn't keeping it real with her ass either. So she had to can his ass. So come to find out, the first off, use a fucking dummy. Michael Avenatti, use a fucking dummy. How the fuck you gonna try to extort Nike, bitch? Nike, bitch? Nike? Of all companies, bitch? But guess what? Nike gagged you. They said, okay, bitch, you wanna extort money? Just do it. And then the pot was in his motherfucking office. I ain't never seen no shit happen that quick in my motherfucking life. Now they're going to be calling you sweet cheeks, bitch. Because you got a nice ass. And they're going to be getting your ass in cell block 69, bitch. I'm just saying. So, let, let's let's rewind here. So, basically what happened is Michael Evanati allegedly got hold of some information that Nike was paying. And I'm paraphrasing here. As I always say, please fact check. I'm not saying I'm an authority, bitch. I just got to work in knowledge. So, from what these charging documents say, Michael Avenatti um, had got some information that Nike was paying, like, college or some level basketball players, like, sending them money and shit, which I don't doubt that they were doing. Let's be clear here. I'm not doubting that Nike plays some of these college players or sends them money. That's not something that I'm doubting. But, bitch... You don't try to extort Nike unless you got your shit on lock, bitch. So he got this information. Then to add insult to injury, he goes on Twitter earlier today. This is how karma works. This is how karma works. He goes on fucking Twitter talking about he has some information that could just kill Nike. And then 45 minutes later, the goddamn FBI was in his office with handcuffs, bitch. Nike must have got on the phone like, cancel this bitch. He got B613. I ain't never seen no shit in my life happen that goddamn fast. So he told Nike, 
He wants $1.5 million for one of his clients and like $15 to $25 million to keep this shit quiet and do his own investigation. Bitch, Nike don't need you to investigate them or do an internal investigation. That's extortion, sis. You think Nike, Nike has survived fucked up shoes. They survived million dollar lawsuits. They survived quality control issues. You really thought the ex-attorney of a goddamn C-list porn star was going to really get away with extorting Nike, bitch? Really? Then, that's not it. That's just the dumbest shit ever. Then the motherfucker was embezzling his own client's money to pay his bills. So while he high for looting, living high on the hog, bitch, you, you juggling your client's money. Okay? Now, Catalina Bird is correct. He did get R. Kelly. But you know what? If you watch Game of Thrones, bitch, Varys and Littlefinger, they ain't got no loyalty. So the same way he got R. Kelly, he was going to get Nike. But guess what? Nike said, bitch, I am Cersei Lannister, and I will kill and blow up this whole goddamn operation before you take my shit down, bitch. He got Game of Thrones. You know what this was? This was the scene of last season in Game of Thrones when Littlefinger thought that he was going to turn Sansa against Arya and then he gagged in court when Sansa called his ass out and then Arya came and slit his throat. This is what this was today, okay? Just so you, just to put it in perspective for you motherfuckers. I'm just saying, cabinet, this is what that was. Now... He fitting to go to jail. He gonna be called Sweet Cheeks. You used to defend a porn star. Now you about to be one, bitch. For Sweet Cheeks and up. Now you about to be a porn star. That was a good one, bitch. Now you about to be a porn star. You went from defending one to now you gonna be protecting your ass, literally. Craziness. So, he's got those charges. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, Okay. Michael Avenatti, to me, never seemed like, yes, he got R. Kelly, which is great. He he helped put a smoking gun in a, a gun that should have already been smoking. But nevertheless, he submitted that information. And a sleaze ball took out another sleaze ball because it wasn't like he was submitting that R. Kelly information because he just felt so bad for these women and felt like that he needed to be stopped. Michael Avenatti is a publicity whore and he was thinking about running for president. Thank God he didn't. And because the way these people vote in this country now, you never know, the motherfucker might would have won. Okay? He was thinking about running for president, decided not to, he had a domestic violence case that mysteriously got dropped. So while you calling the kettle black for the R, oh, bitch, you was fucking your own wife or you was beating the shit out that bitch. And then the car, the, the case got dropped. Let's not forget that, Michael Avenatti. Okay? Then Stormy fires you get ass because it's like, bitch, this is, this is not gelling. And she probably fired your ass because her case got thrown out and she got paid Donald Trump them court fees and shit. That's really why the fuck she fired you. Bitch, you were supposed to get her the book deal, get her coin, make her one of the new Kardashians friends and shit. That's what was supposed to happen, bitch. You didn't do that. You called yourself crack and slick. You, but bitch, you really, and not to say that Nike is invincible or impenetrable as a company. But let's be real here. A company that size prepares for shit like this. The only people that don't prepare for shit like this is Donald Trump. And he better thank whatever God he playing to. Okay? That's the bottom fucking line. Dot com. So in short, just for all you motherfuckers don't follow, what happened today to Michael Avenatti, season seven, Game of Thrones, last episode, Littlefinger, slit throat. That's what that was. We gonna call him Michael Avenatti, aka Sweet Cheeks, also known as Littlefinger, bitch. AKA future porn star, bitch. Cause you're definitely gonna be a porn star in jail cause you too cute. Now, 
Moving on from one sleaze bag to another. So, the Mueller report came out yesterday, and I was really busy, so I couldn't go live yesterday. But we basically got Cliff's notes. Okay? We got Cliff's notes of the Mueller report. This is not the full report. This is basically a summary, bitch. That the Attorney General, who is a lap dog of President Captain Crunch, decided to release. Now, the report could summary that uh, Mueller put out does say that, you know, for the most part, he can't prove any collusion. Proving collusion does not mean it didn't happen, bitch. It just means that he can't prove that Captain Crunch actually colluded with Russia. He can't prove it. Okay? That don't mean it didn't happen. It just means he can't prove it. Okay? I'm about to hit a nerve right now, but we know OJ killed Nicole, bitch, but wasn't proven in the court of law. But that's all right, because he about to get the OJ treatment, too. Because, bitch, you're going to do something stupid, and this SDNY investigation is going to get your ass. Okay? But I'm lying to flat out. Now, the funny shit to me was, this morning, I'm watching the news, and Sarah Huckabee Sanders, I think this is probably the best this bitch ever looked. She must have hired a, 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 a makeup artist or something. The bitch had on pink lipstick. Eye shadow, the right tone of blush. She looked kind of her age. I was like, oh, they must be hee hee on up in the White House. I ain't never seen this bitch look so happy. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. The investigation, for the most part, Mueller's saying that he can't prove collusion. That doesn't mean that there's nothing in this actual report that we're probably not going to ever see the full report. Um, because uh, McConnell just struck down um, a resolution or a proposal from Schumer, who is the minority leader. McConnell is the majority leader in the Senate. Schumer, Chuck Schumer, is the majority, the minority leader in the Senate. Um, Schumer proposed that, you know, the full report be published. McConnell said, hell no, bitch. We got to quit it, bitch. Fuck that shit. Y'all ain't saying shit, bitch. All we need to know his ass ain't get caught. Fuck it. And you got to give it to Donald's lawyers. You got to give it to his lawyers because Donald dumbass was about to go sit in an interview with Mueller. The lawyers is like, nah, sis, hold the fuck on. Bitch, we ain't doing that. Okay? We ain't doing that. We going we gonna to chill. And it kind of served him well. Whoever, I, I want to say this. Whoever, you know, he got, he ain't, Donald Trump is not a dumb man. Do I think he's an ass? Yeah. But you being an ass and you being just dumb is two different things. All your homeboys got caught. And that's the gagger. That's the gagger. All your homeboys is locked the fuck up. Or on their way to getting locked the fuck up. He the only one that ain't get pinched. So he let all of y'all take the fall. This is another lesson for any, if you got kids that's teenagers that watch this these Facebook lives or subscribe to my YouTube, please show them this, what I'm about to say. Donald Trump and this Mueller investigation is a prime example why you don't do dirt for other people. You do dirt for your goddamn self. Because when you do dirt for other people, your ass is going to be left holding the bag. Okay? You get left holding the bag. Not anybody else. And the motherfucker that told you to go to the bridge and jump, his ass ain't jump. You the only motherfucker floating around in the Hudson looking 14 current stupid. Now, Cohen, you locked up. You did all that snitching and his ass still ain't get caught. Manafort, you kind of, you was ride or die. You went to jail. You took your licks, bitch. So you living by the street code. Manafort living by the street code with his lying ass. But Cohen, bottom line and flat out, all that snitching and he he ain't going, Donald ain't going to jail, bitch. Not for this. 
not for the Russian collusion. Now, it's no way in the world, and I know there are a lot of people um, on the opposite side of the fence, on the red side of the fence. Yes, I think you should celebrate, bitch, because you should feel like every black person at the end of the OJ trial. Because even though you know you know that motherfucker did it, you want to dictate this one for the team. You should, every Trump voter who is celebrating today, this is how I felt when OJ beat that goddamn charge, bitch. This is how I felt when OJ beat his charge. This is how I felt when Puffy beat his charge for the nightclub stab or whatever the fuck happened. And J-Lo decided to snitch on his ass and sing like a bird. She did better singing in that goddamn case than she did on the goddamn record. But that's besides the point. Okay. This is how you feel. Dear, this is the perfect thing. Dear Trump voters, today is how it felt when OJ beat his case. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Now... The report allegedly could have some damning information, you know, or, or you know what I'm saying? Yes, Ira Trump is Takashi 69, okay? So, at the end of the day, he's good. All of those people that's, that's there, is still good. But we have this other investigation that's brew, brew, uh, brewing. So, while... On a major level, you can't prove the Russian collusion. That doesn't mean that he didn't do no backdoor shit. Because where there's smoke, there's fire. Birds of a feather flock together. If your attorney was doing dumb ass shit for you, breaking the law. If your campaign manager was doing dumb ass shit and breaking the law. all your They wasn't breaking the law by their goddamn self. They was just the dummies that got caught. And all of them about to sit down for a minute over your dumb ass. Okay? That's just facts. Am I lying? If I am lying, let me know. Okay. In retrospect, here's where I'm going to break this down. In retrospect, this is a problem for the Democratic Party. You know why it's a problem for the Democratic Party? Because they held on to the shit. As a lot of us did. Okay? As a lot of us did. Okay? And somebody brought up, before I get into that, somebody brought up Donald pardoning, pardoning these guys. I don't think it's going to happen, sis. You ever seen me, Jack City? I don't think it's going to happen, sis. I don't see Donald Trump giving anybody a pardon. Why? Because of that statement today where he said, oh, Mueller acted honorably and these other guys did evil treasonous things. That was his way of letting them know, sis, you're going to have to eat this. You're going to have to take this out. He's not giving them a party. And I could be wrong. I could totally be wrong. But Donald care about Donald. He ain't giving nobody a party. and says, they're going to do that time. And they're going to deal. Bottom line and flat out. Okay? So at the end of the day... That's why I see it coming. Now, for the Democrats, for the, the boys in blue, the women in blue, everybody in blue, this is a problem for you. This is a setback for the Democratic Party. And if you think otherwise, you're wrong. You know why? Because now all of those people that voted for Trump, they're empowered now. The people that was on the fence, they're empowered now. Okay? Because... Mueller has said, one thing that Mueller, let's look at Mueller for a minute here. Mueller has maintained his pristine rep, uh, reputation. Robert Mueller is known as being incredibly bipartisan, thorough, and even, even, even scaled. Helm saying that he can't conclude that there's any conclusion means that as much as he, and he probably wanted to say, bitch. It's some crazy shit going on. But he's not going to fuck his shit up just for the sake of lying. And I'm going to get even further. This is where Facebook might cut me off. I wouldn't be surprised. Let's, let's zoom in. I wouldn't be surprised if the deep state and the government behind the scenes come in, listen in, if they didn't already say the Mueller report has to say he didn't collude. Why? How does that look as a country? As the United States, the number one country in the world, that its citizens elected a president who committed treason. 
on the world stage, that doesn't look good for us. Let's think about this, people. That doesn't look good. That actually weakens us on the world stage to our allies and to our enemies. You can't have an American president convicted of treason. Now, you may pull up Nixon. And I know I got quiet, bitch, because I'm, I'm saying some real shit. You may reference Nixon. Nixon, that's kind of a different story. Nixon didn't, didn't collude with another goddamn country. Okay? You can't have that. So don't be surprised if the deep state in our government said, we may know that he colluded. They, the, the deep state might even know that this motherfucker did it. But they not going to let that show. You know what kind, how that would look? They not going to do it. So even if he did really collude, even if Mueller could prove it, and if Mueller knew in his heart that he did it, they was never going to let that be the outcome. But I don't fucking lie. So if you were waiting for a different outcome, I'm sorry, sis. It was never going to happen. You can't have, for the sake of the country's representation, you can't let that motherfucker fall. Not like that. He gonna fall. He gonna take some kind of L, but that ain't gonna be the L, sis. Why do you think they bringing up this uh, this SDNY investigation? That's That might be the hit. That might be the hit, but this Russian collusion, that ain't gonna be the hit. Why do you think, let's, let's think about this. Nancy said, impeachment not worth it. And that shit came out of nowhere. Nancy, what the fuck is you talking about? But I was like, all right, Nancy, I see where you're going. He only, I'm thinking it's because his term for what it is, is like not that much left. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking maybe, you know, Nancy, Nancy, like, fuck it. Let him finish out his term. We'll vote somebody else in. But Nancy already, see, let's go back. See how this shit, I love talking, y'all. See how this shit all ties in? See how it all ties in when Nancy was taking all that static about a new, you know, house leader and they was trying to overthrow Nancy, but Nancy got the motherfucking experience and the know-how? This is why that bitch is the leader of the House of Representatives. This is why she's the fucking speaker. Because she already knew. Don't ever try to fucking come for a bitch from Little Italy and Baltimore City. Never try to do that. Gag. So at the end of the day, that was never going to happen. They let all the new kids, rah, rah, rah. They letting them see. Nancy, she already in with that shit. She already knew how shit was going to play out. So she let Alex A, while AOC, Rashida Talib, and Omar and all of them getting the press. And we watching these bitches. Nancy in the back like... Oh, don't think they ain't had no meetings. Don't think they ain't had no meetings behind closed doors, bitch. And Nancy already knew what the tea was, but she can't tell these new bitches because they talk too goddamn much. It's a reason why the government has secrets. And is everyone, should everything be a secret? No, but I'm a firm believer that when you're a leader of a country, you don't let every motherfucking body know what the fuck is going on. You can't. You can't. Bottom line is flat out. And we here looking for this pure candidate, this pure person. And I was watching Bohemian Rhapsody the other night, and they said some shit that, that struck me. He said, Americans, Puritans in public, perverts in private. And it's never been a truer statement. Okay? That's bottom. I ain't even mean to go this deep, bitch. But let's think of let's 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 think about this. Okay, so Trump gonna finish his term, and he's not gonna have a problem doing that. My concern now is this: could he possibly get a second one? Because the way that this Democratic Party is looking right now, with the fucking Hunger Games of candidates, this, the fucking candidates in the Democratic Party, it's like 
getting out of a clown car. You don't know when this shit is going to stop. There's no central focus. Biden keeps playing games like he don't know what the fuck is going on. Okay? It is what it is. That's all I'm going to say about that. But y'all know, we just, that was some real shit I just said, bitch. Okay? Now, let's get into some fun shit. Who saw us? If you saw us, starring Lapita Nyong'o and Winston Duke, leave a little comment. Okay? Let's leave a little comment. Who saw us? Now, this is also the time where if you did not see us, you might want to turn off the broadcast. Okay? I already got my numbers for the day, so don't feel bad for me if you did anyway. Um, but we're going to talk about us. Okay? For those of us who saw us, I thought us was fan-fucking-tastic. Okay? I thought us was fantastic. Lupita Nyong'o. Lupita proved that she can anchor a film. I think her performance, even though the whole movie was good, but I truly believe her performance was the anchor of this film. Okay? I feel like her performance was the anchor of this film. I think both her body language, her speaking voice on both characters was just epic. I thought she did a fantastic job. Okay? I thought that the little girl that plays her daughter, who have, they must have had some black people on the makeup and beauty team, bitch. Because at the end of the day, I just love how the little girl's edges started frizzing up throughout the course of the night because ain't no way in the hell I don't give a fuck how much just for me you put in the bitch head her edges not going to do like that under high heat stress and running bitch okay that's just facts Winston Duke who played the father I wanted to beat his ass the entire fucking movie but you need a dummy you need somebody like that in the goddamn movie okay after seeing the ending of the movie, it made, I rewatched, you know how you see something and then you replay shit in your head? I rewatched the movie in my head and I was like, oh shit. That's why this bitch was saying that. I'm like, that's crazy. And then you felt so bad. It was kind of, you know what this was? This was like an episode of Black Mirror. If you've ever watched Black Mirror, um, Black Mirror, like this could have been like Jordan Peele can write for Black Mirror, which is why I'm, I think he's going to do an awesome, awesome job at the Twilight Zone. But when you watch, it was like an episode of Black Mirror because when you find out that Lupita was really the villain the whole time, the, the good Lupita, you feel so bad for that 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 woman and how Lupita killed, like he didn't, she didn't just stab her, she like broke her neck. You know what I'm saying? And you felt so bad when you knew the truth. And that also explained a lot of things when, you know, the fucking, uh, she was the only one that could talk. Okay? And it made me, number one, I think everybody with children should make their kids watch that movie. And I know y'all gonna come for me. Fuck it. You know why? Because the next time I tell your ass not to move, bitch, this is why I'm telling you to stay where the fuck I told you to stay. Don't move. Don't wander off. I told your ass to stay there, bitch. Stay there. Because guess what's gonna happen to you if you wander off? I sure the fuck would. Y'all lucky I ain't got kids because that would be required fucking viewing. I bet you your ass to stay where the fuck I tell you to be now. Okay, now some people were upset about the ending. Okay, I get it. Sometimes you want things wrapped up in a nice little neat little blow. But I get it. Okay, but what I liked about the ending was the uncertainty. 
it's got me looking at subways totally different. Like, I, all these tunnels. Totally different. And also, too, when they were in the house after they killed Elizabeth Moss and they killed the White family. And Lupita goes, we've got to go to Mexico. Now, this clone experiment was a, a U.S. government experiment. Now, when I'm watching, I'm like, oh, this is why the bitch said go to Mexico because this was a U.S. thing. So, if they go to Mexico, Mexico ain't probably have enough money or they probably had enough sense not to do no dumb ass shit like that. Okay? That's why her ass wanted to go to Mexico. Also, too... And shout out to Ashley Alexander for pointing this out. You know, the lean ass, I got five on it. Friday, but it's vicious, but on me, I got five on it. Now, the campaign was holding hands across America. You notice they kept holding hands, and that was the whole thing, holding hands all across America. How many fingers do you have on a hand? Five. I got five on it. I gagged when she pointed that out to me. I gagged. Fiercely. Okay? I was like, why the fuck did you pick Lunas? Like, Jordan Peele, Jordan Peele is what happens when you let creative black children be themselves. Let them run that imagination, bitch. As long as they don't kill nobody. If they want to think that they got them out of space aliens, bitch, let them. Oh, my God. You in Tokyo, bitch? Somebody just climbed in from Tokyo. Okay, but yeah, y'all gagging over there. I got five on it, bitch, right? I gagged. Ashley Alexander, she brought that to me. I gagged. Okay. I gagged. Okay. Um... I thought, and I gotta, I gotta give so much props to Lupita because there were certain moments that I didn't even think she was capable of. Okay, the moment when they're at the chalkboard and she she's writing and she just starts walking backwards, and I'm like, oh shit! And then the choreography of the scene in the classroom where she's literally just walking through the dust and she's getting her ass chopping on the fuck up. Then I get out in the hallway. That was like a waltz. Like, I was amazed. I mean, maybe somebody's done that kind of choreography for a fight scene before, but I've never seen. That was like a mixture of fucking karate or wushu or some shit like that mixed with ballet. I was like, this shit is ill. I gagged. Oh, Joseph, that Bible verse. Now, I didn't know what that Bible verse was until I read it. That Bible verse, but as soon as I went on Google, bitch, it was like right in the top searches. Okay? I thought it was amazing. I thought the soundtrack was excellent. I thought the soundtrack was minimal. The fuck the police. When the camera, when the, when the white family getting, when Elizabeth Moss and I'm getting cut the fuck up, that shit was crazy. The daughter was probably my fave. And I think it's also, too, what I liked about this film was this and what this film did. It showed how black women are the patriarchs in a lot of families. Even though it was a two-parent home, what the mom says goes. And I thought that that was interesting. Even in... The relationship, like, boys love their mothers. And the son knew that his mother wasn't right. She knew he wasn't right. Why? Because when the real Adelaide snatched his ass up, she probably told him the truth. That's what probably happened. She probably told him the truth. And that little boy, I don't know if he was autistic or had, I don't know. But that little boy knew that his mother wasn't right. But that really is his mother. That's the gagger. Like, even though Lupita is the one that snatched that little girl up, like the, 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 the one above ground, she still did give birth to those children. 
So it's like, what do you say, like, to your mom? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what do you say to your mom? Like, mom, you're a fucking clone and you killed this little girl, essentially. Like, but that's your mom. Like, what do you do? Um, as far as sequel, Ebony, I don't know. Jordan Peele doesn't strike me as a sequel guy. He just doesn't. And for a sequel, you would have to recast Lupita. And the way that she chooses her roles, I don't know if she's a sequel girl or she would want to be, because it's, it's a thin line with these kind of movies because then you become known as this type of actress sometimes in Hollywood. So I don't know. Um, but I definitely thought that overall, um, that it was a great film. Some people are like, oh, I like Get Out better. It's two different types of films, sis. It's two different types of films. Um, and I can't grade this against Get Out, even though they both have a uh, Jordan Peele sensibility to them. I can't, I can't gauge it. And if it was the clone sign, some people are saying in in the, in the live that it's the is it's the clone sign. But the clone sign had the burnt up mouth. So how would you explain that? I I don't get it. Like if that was the clone sign, um, not unless Jordan got they got some slick ass plastic surgery down in that goddamn subway tunnel that don't nobody else know about, um. I think that um, you know it'll it'll be it'll be interesting. Um, I think the daughter is probably the only one. If they find out what happened, or Lupita lose her shit, the daughter versus the mom. That would be interesting to see if the daughter finds out what's going on. Um, I think that. Um, Holy shit. Somebody just brought up the summer switch the summer before. And I could see that. Because the sun had changed. And the new sun, the sun had a fire trick that the one underneath the sewer knew but the new son up top couldn't do it. Which would explain why the son that we thought was under the son that came that was in the red suit, his mouth was burnt up like that. Because he would be able to tell. God damn. God damn. I ain't even thinking about that. Because the clone son was not able to do that fire trick. And if they go to Santa Cruz every summer and the sun was wandering off, it's a, it's a strong possibility that that clone son is the clone. Which is why the son in the car, the clone, the son, the son that we thought wasn't the clone son, knew to step back and walk the other son into the fire. Ain't this some shit? And she snatched the, the, the clone sign, because that was her sign. Oh my god, bitch. I just realized something on a fucking Facebook live. That's true. I don't know, y'all. I, I want to give y'all an answer, and I can't. I, 
Y'all just watched me have a whole moment on Facebook Live. I did not intend for that to happen. I'm so sorry. Sidebar, I lost 30 pounds in the last um, three weeks, three and a half weeks. I lost 30 pounds. Um, I can see it a little bit in my face as I'm talking to y'all. But I lost 30 pounds. I'm trying to get down um, about 120 pounds total because the bitch is fat. Um... But I'm trying to get down. So that's a sidebar. But anyway, I'm not going to keep y'all. It's about 8.14. Um, we got to get up in the morning. I have a lot of meetings tomorrow. And I got to go to the gym at 6 a.m. So with that being said, if you are subscribed to the Secretary of Shade YouTube, make sure you do that. I will be preparing my video for He Say, She Say on YouTube. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at G-O-D-D-M. If you're not already, once again, that's G-O-D-D-M. Um, my single and a video will be coming out towards the end of next month. We shot it over the weekend. We had a great um, shoot. With that being said, I love you all very much. Thank you for tuning in, as you always do. And I do not take your support for granted. Oh, the Secretary of Shade t-shirts are done. Um, they'll be launching with my single and a music video. So now you'll be able to go and um, get yourself a shirt. It ships directly to you. Um... And that'll be available at all. So you can start wearing your cabinet t-shirts. And I'll be doing a tour this summer. So hopefully I'll get to meet some of you guys. You'll come out, see a show. It'll be a combination of music and political satire. Um, but thanks again. Make sure you subscribe at Secretary of Shade on YouTube. On uh, Instagram at G-O-D-D-M. Y'all have a great night and be blessed. I love you daily.